will be taking on Alex Ribeiro and Jeremy Flores. Do you have a prediction for me for who's going to win this heat? I do. I think Jeremy's going to take care of business. And uh, I know Taj is our boy. He's the local local dude here. He's going to have a little bit of that inside knowledge. He delivers with these exciting end sections out here on the right. Oh, well, going to see it left early on. And it's oh. going to be Taj Burrow capitalizing on this set wave. Driving off the bottom. One of the best backhands on tour. But not going to get any points out of that ride. Jeremy has a bit of a look on the stove, just bubbling away, <laughs> boiling away, and uh, occasionally he'd just overflow, and the emotion would just come out. He's made the final heat of so many events in the past, and he's also had two finishes in the number two position. A world title runner-up and a former winner here. Picking off a nice-looking right. This is his second wave, Taj Burrow, all over this lineup at the moment. And clicking in a big way on that second wave. Taj smiles like that on the worst days of his life. He's just <laughs> always buzzing. But have a look at the attack here. Wow. So that first turn, again, he just, he got a lot of rail in the water. Really high line too, so it was aggressive. I know it's just a carve, but that first turn was really aggressive for a carve. Uh, and then the second snap, Patton Taj Burrow's fin release. But right there, you can, you can tell this is not your textbook turn. He's not on cruise control. He pushed really hard on that hack. That wind laying down just ever so slightly more and more as the day gets older. And that's going to allow the guys to be more aggressive, Ronnie, with where they put their turns. And here's that classic Taj Burrow little tail kicker right there. That is so classic. That's going to be a big score. That's the best wave I've seen Taj surf this year. He has looked okay. out of sorts. And the judges agree. An 8.67 on his first wave. Strider was the Lewski. It looked like he was buzzing after locking in that second score. Yeah, definitely buzzing. Uh, you know, that first left he took kind of set him up to be out of priority. And then he found into that wave. Right now he got him up again right now on the backside. Again, finding another left. Hooking into the lip right there. Bang. You know, that wave setting up nicely through the inside again off the top. Coming over the lip with it down in the inside. So just, you know from competition and just enjoyed hanging at home with his newborn but definitely looks to be fired up for this occasion here in Mugger River as Jeremy Flores takes off looking very sparky on this one as he looks for the finish on the inside doesn't really push through the tail of his board like he wanted to but a good finish another thing that's uh, it looks like a little tribute to Kelly Slater I can't tell if that's the Old school 90s airbrush from Kelly. Certainly looks like it, but a nice strong first maneuver for Jeremy. Also looking really inspired. Again, just like Taj, Jeremy's been on tour for a long time. So I think, you know, he's one of those guys that could be at, in danger of falling into a routine on a wave. But as we've picked up on in the last couple of months, he looks reinvigorated. And that's a tricky section right there. You can see he didn't have that lip kind of fighting back at him. So he had to really manufacture that hack and he did really well. That was not an easy section to pull off that little snap. Would have been easy for him to kind of lose speed and, and dig a rail. But that extra confidence is doing well for him. There is no wall on this wave, really. The, the surfing is all in the pocket. Jeremy made this wave look so much better than it was. He really did. I, even that second turn right there, that snap, it wasn't a great section, but he just was flying down the line. That JS surfboard is looking really fast. He's totally freed up. You can tell he's ready to max out the potential of a score on a wave. What you can't really see on the, the left-hand side of the screen is how much that wave had tapered off. It was reasonably tall in the pocket, but, but really down the line there was nothing there. So Jeremy doing very well to turn CT rookies through their QS campaigns last season. And Alex Ribeiro, he's got some work to do to push those heat score totals up. He was one of the lowest, uh, had one of the lowest averages of all the CT rookies. As we see Jeremy on his second ride, just looking so amped out there at the moment. I mean, that is the perfect description. Really still in the show at the moment. Wow, beautiful wave here, Ronnie. Look at this thing. A little more wall coming at him. So this is a, a, a bit more rippable. That was a tricky section though, and look at that. That was a power under the lip, if that's even a move. 
Uh, so a, a section that wasn't there, and he made the most of it. Another really confident little tail side right in front of the, the surgeon's table. So there's a nice money section there, and he ripped into the carp so much that he got a nice kind of a natural oh. fin release. But that second maneuver, is this his second maneuver? It is. Watch as he has pretty much... Or no, this is the first turn. Okay, so right here, rips into the carve. Now, organically, those fins are going to just release a little bit. So that's someone who is just fired up. He is pushing hard. This section is horrible. It's not a conducive section for ripping. So he says, I don't care. I'm going to do just a heavy old snap under the lip. That's just not a maneuver that's on offer usually. You know, you don't think about it as a surfer, but... What, what's so cool about that is that means his reflexes are on point right now. The other thing you got to keep in mind here at Mainbreak is the surfers are out there. They're a long way from the judges with Steph Gilmore and Tyler Wright now having to fight their way through the second round with some uh, interesting priority bungles. But here we go. This is Taj Burrow. He won round one for the men and Taj just unloading in that first move. Wow, yeah, just fired up, but a short wave. So I think Taj knew that. You can see even on that last little snap, he just looks really fiery. A uh, little more energy, but that carve right there was next level from Jeremy. Really long rail, extended carve there for that first maneuver and two really tidy snaps to back it up. Well, scrapping on the inside at the moment and looking left. Ribeiro drives off the bottom. No points in that first maneuver. Second turn's not too bad out onto the open face. This wave's starting to fatten up as Taj Burrow just moving at a completely different speed. But no section to work with for TB. Five and a half minutes to go. If it wasn't for the uh, that bald-headed dude, you'd be tripping out on the longevity. You know, Kelly's the only other guy that's just an alien in terms of how long they can stay sharp and compete and want to win. You know, it's really tough to keep your teeth sharp and want to, you know, basically just beat people day in and day out. But uh, Taz just getting a little lost in this wave here. Not an easy one to read. Well, he is looking super amped and even a little frustrated after that Rod Strider was the Lewski got that almond shape there's just not a whole lot of room in there it starts touching your shoulder and it slows you down uh, it doesn't look cool for the judges so tubes and the surfers know that not a really easy way to get big points I like the fact that Taj is not you know totally looking right only he's keeping these lefts as an option there is scores available out there on the lefts he almost had the one that Taj had the second snap that he fell on that thing was looking like a 7-5 easily and here he goes Taj looking left again. Brutal hit on that first section. Climbs up on the foam. Not much left on the wave. It'd be kind of cool to get that back on the schedule. Just campaigning for new stops here in the booth. But right now, Taj enjoying competing at home in front of a big hometown crowd. And he has picked off a nice left here. Two sections. That's all you need to generate a decent number. And he likes the feel of that one. With just 40 seconds to go, Taj is chasing a 7.43. As Alex Ribeiro just looks to put something decent on the board here. Not a bad little wave. But when you start drawing comparisons between his approach to the backhand and Taj Burrows, you know that he's going to fall short of putting a good number on the board. Well, maybe since this event last year, we haven't seen him this fired up. He had a semi-final finish in this contest last season and since then he he hasn't cracked a finals heat so Taj competing at home and we're waiting for the numbers to drop so the judges having to think about it the numbers coming through 7.67 enough to Taj to turn the heat Jeremy Flores disappointed but one wow, of the better performances that we've seen from Jeremy, and he should be right when he takes on the second round. Taj Burrow moving through.